That's my damn headphones for the plane. What's your gas mileage on this thing? Not good. Six. Don't at this point. <laughs> at this point, you don't even matter. No, it's not that bad. Uh, Twelve point seven miles to the gallon. That's not terrible. What's the story in Winston like? What's the development story that's being told? Um, so you know, Winston is tobacco, so you in tobacco capital. Yeah. So that building, the small, uh, what's the building in New York City? Empire State. That's the so the guy that designed the Empire State Building designed that yeah, and made that he here. Like it. No, he made it here first and then made it bigger in New York. Same exact design. So that was RJR's headquarters. Mm -hmm. So you know if they got money, they build a mini, mini imp, right. imp. So they had, they ran this whole thing. So the side of downtown I'm gonna take you to is the side where the railroad tracks are, where all the tobacco used to come from, out from the farms okay. into downtown, all the tobacco trade had happened in these warehouses. Right. And cigarettes were rolled down here. Huh. All this stuff like this. This is where like your Teamsters 4 started. Like, like a lot of African-American history in this community. Really not talked about a lot, but Huh. So, um, this is bb and headquarters. I don't know if you know that bank, yep. but bb and the bank is their headquarters. Um, but it might used to work for them. A lot of what Wake Forest has got a hold of a lot of this downtown because RJR, at, at one point, downtown wasn't nothing. Yeah. Nobody wanted to be here. And at, at one point, they were just giving away the buildings to Wake Forest University because they had the endowment to to build off campus. So what we about to go into is the, uh, as soon as we cross this street, we go into the innovation quarter. Hmm. So this is this, what's called the innovate, even though this is a jail right here, but <laughs> like the innovation quarter literally starts all of this, that way, is the innovation. It stops at the highway. So you see the highway going back there? It's 52, okay. you know, red line. Yeah. So all of these buildings here are in the innovation quarters. And that's where all our, like, what you call them joints? The incubators yeah. that don't, don't, don't know what they're doing are down here. Um, so who's the main industry? I mean, it's not still tobacco. Tobacco's <sighs> tobacco still runs a lot. Like, so they still employ. Like their headquarters is still right here, Reynolds America. Oh really? Yeah, they had. That's right there. You see that building? Okay. So they moved from that building. Yeah. That's now a hotel and apartments. Hmm. So that's they. That's they thing. But healthcare. We're big healthcare okay. community. Uh, all right, keep looking down there. We're big, big, big healthcare community. Um, so you know, we got Novant Health. Wake Forest Baptist Medical. So all of this is new. Right. I'm literally telling you, you did not want to come down this way 15, 10, 15 years ago. It was abandoned buildings. Yeah. All these are new buildings. Wake Forest University, Wake Forest University, uh, Wake Forest University. All these departments going up all around here. It's got that look. That stuff back there has mm -hmm. got that look. All of this. These are houses. Yeah. Right. So now you can't own shit down here because it's all apartments. Mm -hmm. So, well, you know, what's built for build is already done. Yeah. Interesting. So they built, this is called Research Parkway. Mm -hmm. This wait at the end of this, Wake Forest does the re, all the biomedical stuff does yeah. there. Oh, this is the Research Triad that people talk about. No, that's Raleigh. Oh, that's Raleigh. That's Research Triangle. Triangle, there you go. Mm-hmm. Okay. So obviously, it's going this way. Yeah. So we're entering our opportunity zone right now. Okay. So this is, you cross the street, it's the hood. Really? Yeah. So it used to be exits here, but then you see obviously you got the churches in the hood. Mm -hmm. yep. and they got their hood money. Um, and then you got these. So the church owns all these. Exactly. They just they just closed these. Huh. So you look left and right. You're in an opportunity zone right now. So all this is OZ. All this is OZ. Okay. And the church owns all of these abandoned buildings that I'm looking at. They bought it, yep. Are those projects over there? Yep, this is all projects, bro. Okay. And they, this is all recent. Like in the last year, they started moving people, other, other like pushing, because they own a lot of this around here. So they started moving them in these buildings. Yeah. So, and you see they slowly getting people out of these. Yeah, yeah, there's only a few of them that are even So what them. you think is gonna happen right across this bridge? Absolutely, you know what's coming. You know what's coming. What if I told you a block over, I'm buying lots for 1200 bucks? Yeah. I think if people are smart, that's what they would be doing. You know, what's funny is uh, 
Again, this talk about people getting pushed out. Most of the census tracts that are opportunity zones are actually vacant land. Correct. You know what I mean? Because there's nothing there. So I want to show. I want to keep showing you more apartments that they push in. So between that's Mark Luther King Drive. If that tells you anything. All right. That's MLK. Yep. So from MLK this way, it starts to go back into the downtown, yeah, which is nice. all nice. Yep. So this is all city-owned buildings right here and stuff. Um, this is this is a assisted city-owned. You ain't got no money to live right here. Right. Sunrise Towers. Okay. So it's government-owned. All of these buildings right now, they talking about selling these joints. Mm. I mean, this is. They nasty inside, mm -hmm. like, you know. Oh, this is OZ? I think, I don't know about right here, but definitely back there. I think this is all OZ though. Okay. I'm pretty sure this is all OZ because the HBCU is right there. Okay, all right. So I just want to show you more of this. That's what I'm talking about. So they started moving people here, but three doors down, the same stuff. It's all, see they, they boarded up? Yeah. So they're getting them out. Yep. And that's back to high, highways back here. Judge went down a few blocks. Mm -hmm. Man, so have you connected with the big commercial guys here? I went politics, man. I went into politics. So I started talking to people that got the power that make the, the, the developers yes or no's. Right? So, not yet. So you see they bored and getting, getting them out. They're getting them out. Yeah, they got plans for this area. Look at this. Yep. They've abandoned forever. Yeah, it's got the tag. There used to be a school. Yeah, you can tell. Interesting. Getting them out. Look at that. Yeah, so there's something, there's a large development or a handful of large developments that are going to come. Get go out right here. Getting them out. Boarded it up. Boarded it up. So then they, you know, this is privately owned here. This is a rebuild. So this, that used to look like this. Yeah. And they tore, this is years ago, but they tore all that down and built these. Same people moved back in. They just built brand new stuff. So I'm gonna show you a house I flipped. Down here. Bought it for 28,000, the one straight ahead. Bought it for 28,000, sold it for 114. Come on. That's a nice come up. I was gonna buy this house and the city bought it from underneath me. They mm -hmm. co-violated they, they they co the shit out of it and bought it from the owner. Get out. Scared them with all the violations and then... Yeah, they co-violation, this is still a good one. Yeah, so, I completely renovated that. Obviously, I didn't touch the roof, you can see that. That gray one? Yep. Mm -hmm. So let me, ooh, deal machine. Pretty sure she's been on my joint before already. We've been by this one a couple times. Look at the grass on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's definitely grabbed that one. Yeah, it's classic. Absentee owner, love it. Got it. I said the high on the street, so I know what I can get for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody right we have no idea they're gonna dump some right there. What do you think you'll get this for? Under 40. Under 40. And that one I'll keep. Cause something's coming this way. Yeah. The park. Yeah, it's very clearly, I mean all the signs are there. There's clearly something coming on this side of the highway. Mm -hmm. Right outside of downtown. Yeah, exactly. Years ago, I knew when they cut the exit off that led to right there. So it was a, that bridge we went over yep. used to have an exit right there. Mm. They cut the exit off so you no longer can get off right there. Mm. So that told me they're going to slow all this down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so this is like your health and human services oh, building. Right yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's the stuff that people got to watch for. Traffic patterns changing. You just gotta be aware, man. Yeah. Open your eyes. Don't. 
go through this with uh, the Chronicle right there, the newspaper I was telling you about. They just bought that building. It used to be a Bank of America. Remember we was talking about this two nights ago? Yeah, that's the building you bought right there. No way, that's it. That's the building. So who, uh, the private stuff is down here. I mean, there's a fair amount of projects over here, whatever. But of the larger <clears throat> multis that are down here, is there a single from, developer? From, out, a lot of, from out of town. Really? Atlanta. Yeah. Like, they ain't just a big dude here that's just running it. Look mm -hmm. at this, this lot right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see that right there? That's perfect. Corner lot vacant. I'm sure this is still OZ. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is definitely LZ. Yeah. So third is that way. Yeah. But see, this is exactly what I'm talking about. None of this stuff is lifted. Psst. Nobody's ever gonna see this. Never. So I'm looking at, I see that, that one, two, third one up is vacant. Yeah. Well, we're moving it all into an opportunity zone, opportunity zone right now. Okay. I know for sure. So I'm gonna show you lots that I picked up. Don't look like much, but that's a lot. Mm -hmm. Even and see, I just take a picture of it because yeah. I want it. Yeah. Grab it. And especially, you know, you said you can scoop it up for twelve hundred bucks. Mm -hmm. Just you know, inventory that. That's it. Inventory and pay the taxes pay on. Taxes on it. Just tuck it away. Taxes on that be like fifty to seventy five dollars a pop. Yeah. yeah. Just tuck it away. Duplex, duplex. Yeah. Vacant. See the brick mason out of the air. Totally popped out. Still going, still going to do anything there. Yeah, I want this. It's just uh, it's too fucking easy. Yeah. Yeah, it's not rocket science. Just a little shoe leather and gas money. And you guys don't have a lot of uh, sort of high rise big multi-units, right? It's mostly garden style and then single families. And yeah, it ain't too many, it ain't too many big, big ones. Mm -hmm. Have you come across much where you could put together a pad of three or four or more lots? About two side by side, I'm gonna yeah. show them to you. Cause that's really the holy grail. If you can come across those. We have a lot of them in North Jersey, like in Newark towns like that. Folks can find two or three lots right next to each other. City of Winston Salem on that little piece. That's a little track right city here. Owns this right here? No, they own somebody owns the building, but the city owns this little track you see right here. Mm -hmm. And do you guys have a land bank in the city? How does Yeah, so they well they have surplus sales where they just be wanting to get rid of certain shit after a while. Right. So I got this lot right here on Hardesty. Oh really? Mm -hmm. I'll check this out. This is new construction. Yeah, new construction. So I got this slot. You got this slot, okay. That was less than $1,500. Yeah. I did spend a lot of money on these two. So these two lots right here. So these are the two yeah. side by side, you mm -hmm. have? Bought these two. I bought one for $1,200 and bought the other one for like almost five grand. Mm -hmm. But it don't matter. Here go another one. I'm working on this one too. Yep. So this is all opportunity zone. What do you think on that the double? Maybe put a quad on it or something? Gonna put, yeah. As soon as we, it's gonna be something crazy because student housing is starting to push this yeah. way too. Yeah. And then you got a lot right here, which is a little bit more valuable because it faces Martha Luther King. Yeah, student housing is a great one. There you go. Come on. Where are you doing the Airbnbs? I'm trying to help you out, bro. Um, the other side of town. I haven't, I, I haven't aggressively been looking for Airbnbs yet. Some just that Airbnb fell on my lap because we flipped it, and it turned out that we weren't making enough on it, on a flip. So we end up just keeping it because we can make like 40 grand a year Airbnb in it. Right. Yeah, it's all, all OZ, bro. Yeah, it's amazing, man. Like they took this building, this, the county, the, uh, Whitman Salem State took this building and re revitalized that whole thing. Okay. Just flipped it. You know, the other thing I'm seeing people do is, uh, is credit stacking. So if you got an OZ, you might have a property that is both OZ and then also maybe a historic okay. district. Mm. Maybe also, you know what I'm saying? You can stack two or three of them on top of each other and people are double and triple dipping on the benefits. Ooh, I didn't think about that. And that's another thing that, you know, as we start talking to people about it, how to be strategic about them, you know what I mean? So Winston State has grown up 
big time, as you can see. Yeah. Maybe you want money from me. Do it. I'm like, listen, you know, y'all know I didn't go to college, right? <laughs> I wonder if Winston and Love would ever do like a Charlotte type of explosion. They they say they don't want to. Was what I was reading. Oh really? Like at least that's what that's what certain people are saying. I'm like, what? Well, that don't make sense. Why wouldn't you want to? Yeah. Like, and then how do you even control that? Yeah, Charlotte is. Uh, I mean, it's incredible what's happened in the last decade down there. Well, all the financial institutions started. How did that trend happen? Well, I, mean, I used to go down there for training because, like you Bank said, of America. Bank of America. Yeah, they were based down there. And Morgan even had a training office down there. Just that's just a banking hub. More vacant, more vacant lots. Yeah. You know this house is vacant. Of course. You got the vacant tag in the mailbox. Yeah. Vacant. Vacant. <laughs> Jesus. This is all OZ. Yeah. This is OZ. So somebody's gonna come in here and clean up. Well, you gonna come in here and clean up. But a lot of other folks. I want here. this part though. Yeah. This is this is the lick right here. D yes. Yeah. This right here is there is something major that's about to happen right here. And like I said, look at the transition. I want you to see where the project yeah, just I ended. Know. The project's end right here. The highway's right here. And it's in the shadow of... Of, of all of this. this. Double condo units, a quarter million dollars. Yeah. I used to live in these buildings. Rent's 1400 a month. Right? You can buy... So you, you know they're coming. They got no... They're running out. Right. Yeah, my bet is a, uh, a big multi goes here. Oh, yeah. You know overlooking I mean? down. Overlooking, that's right. <laughs> so you feel like you're still in there. All right. That's what's gonna happen. Somebody's gonna scoop up all of that. I think that well, I, the church owns it, but they got to team up with somebody. Of course. Yeah, and they may have a forward-thinking pastor. Who knows? He's gonna partner with somebody. But for now, he's got to I think he's forward-thinking because what he did is they end up buying that. They didn't inherit that joint. Mm. I think because they're they're in that community, they end up buying it from wherever they bought it from. Because they what he said. That's what he said. Once the church paid up, once they paid off the church, mm -hmm. they started buying apartment apartments. Okay, so he proactively went after that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he, he knows that something's coming. Well, it was right across the bridge. Eventually, it had, right, to. It had to. Real estate runs out here. Like they literally can't build another apartment down here because there's no parking. That, that's actually my ideal, that's my dream investment. I've been trying to find a place where I could buy a parking lot. You're trying to do some Robert Kraft stuff? Oh my God. Yeah, that's how the guy who uh, used to own the Dodgers did his thing. Well, Wait. he's a brilliant, I didn't know that. Markovia Bank and Trust, that's yeah. the one they, they first headquarters right there. Is it really? Then they went from the blue building no, the Winston, what's the Winston Tower? Then he went to that. Then they went to that build. They built that building, okay. and then they, Wells Fargo ate him up. This is a hotel and apartments. Used to be the old. Right yep, used to be the old RJR. Mm -hmm. This used to be old courthouse. They put a no, new hotel right there. They just finished the basement part. Yeah. Like, <laughs> opportunity out here is humming, bro. Yeah, I can tell. All this is a, used to be abandoned. Yeah. Well, that's brand new. They used to be a parking lot. Damn, six right. months ago. All of this right here is all tobacco warehouses. Everything you see here, I could have bought that building for less than a hundred grand mm. like 10 years ago. I didn't know that about no real estate. Right. Because you still got the opportunity where guys own three blocks in downtown because they were here this long. Because you still could buy these buildings for $30,000. Brand new apartments. Yeah, that's the look. It's like contemporary new construction off downtown. Now, how are you guys on public transportation? We got city buses that run through here. Now, the crazy thing is the city bus hub is right in the middle of downtown, and they trying to move that shit. Hmm. Because of who rides the buses. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You talking about valuable real estate now. Like I'm telling you, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, you ain't want to be down here. And now that's why he was like, yo, put the bus station right in the middle of downtown. Yeah, right. And now it's like, oh shit, we made the wrong move. Yeah, we got Can't have them congregating here. Not here. <laughs> then they can't move them back across the bridge because they got development going back that way. Right. So where are they gonna move? I don't know, it's just been talks about them 
moving it. I haven't been that following it that serious. Okay. But there's no rail, right? No. Okay. There's all built. There's all there used to be buildings. Yeah. Empty the pool made parking lots. Yeah. That's a Wells Fargo call center right there. Yeah, I mean it's very clear. This. It's gotta happen. Yeah, it's gotta happen. <laughs> <laughs> Even though they didn't use it like crossing the highway, yeah. it's gotta happen. What are, what are the tracks, you know, crossing the tracks in Winston is where is it? That MLK 52. That we saw? 50, yeah, the tracks. Oh, yeah. it's crossing over 52. Yeah. So when you cross over 52, it's hood, or at least it used to be. Yep. It still is for now. It's still, yeah, for now. Yeah, but it won't be for long. 52, they used to talk, it used to be, used to be a, like, it used to be a saying about that. Like, don't go past. Yeah. 52. And then that side of 52, where we were by the university, yeah. that used to be all the black people that worked for RJR. They had their pensions, 30 years. They bought all their houses over there, over which, which was a nice side, yeah. right? And it was like a, a nice side, and they got their own, they got their own golf course over there, okay. everything. So that was where the well-to-do black people lived was on that side of 52. And then obviously generational, as it starts to go down, you know, you somebody inherits the house, they sell it, and somebody doesn't take care of the house, and then. Yeah. But there's still pockets of neighborhoods in there where it's like, yo, y'all got it going on. Interesting. Yeah. It's gonna happen. Nothing you can do about that. You gotta be a part of it. You gotta be a part of it. 